this is Laura Stevenson and this is What's in My Bag, Home Edition. The first item on the list is the Bill Evans Trio, Sunday at the Village Vanguard, featuring Scott LaFaro. This is a beautiful record. Um, it's six songs performed live. There was an afternoon show and an evening show, so this is like the best of both. And uh, this is the last time that this trio ever played together. Uh, 10 days after this was recorded, uh, the bass player Scott LaFaro died in a auto accident. So this is a really special record. Um, we listened to a lot of Bill Evans around my home. Next up, is Baby Dynamite by Carolyn Franklin. This is Aretha and Irma Franklin's little sister. I found out about her because she's a songwriter and she wrote the song Baby 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 among many others, but that's a, a, a big one for me. Baby, 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 baby. Think of me sometimes. So I was like, what does she sound like? And she's incredible. This record was her debut. Um, and it is really awesome. Uh, there's just so much energy. Her voice is amazing. And this is a very special record. So check it out. Next up is Driver by Adult Mom. Sit in the car parked in the dark in range of honor. This band they're my friends and they are incredible. This record came out in 2020 and it is super special. Um, yeah, all the songs are awesome. The song Berlin is one of my absolute favorites and I got to go on tour with Stevie from Adult Mom uh, right before um, everything kind of shut down and uh, they played many of the songs from this record and so I got to kind of hear them firsthand solo and um, then I got to hear them uh, with all of the beautiful instrumentation and this is a great record. Pick it up! This is another uh, 2020 record. This is a band called Super Crush. Um, the record is called Soto Pop. They're a band from Seattle. Uh, they're a trio. They're label mates of mine on Don Giovanni Records. And this record is just awesome. It's power pop at its best. Um, it's three kind of hardcore guys that decided that they really liked Teenage Fan Club and it fucking rules. Listen to this, it'll put you in a good mood. Speaking of power pop, this next record uh, is by a band called Candy. The record's called Whatever Happened to Fun. This is their debut and only record from 1985. Uh, it was produced by a guy that produces the Raspberries and also a guitarist from the Raspberries and it sounds a lot like the Raspberries and it fucking rules and look at their hair. Um, the song Electric Nights is one of my favorites. Definitely pick this up. It is awesome. It is so good. They should have been huge. This record is called The Baby Huey Story, The Living Legend. Listen to me. Hear what I say. Uh, it is a really special record. This is his debut, um, and unfortunately it was his last record because uh, he died before the record was finished. It was produced by Curtis Mayfield, and um, posthumously he kind of filled in a lot of the instrumentation, and this record is really special. Um, this man could sing. Um, yeah, so check this out. And last but not least, what could not fit in my bag is the Tom Petty Wildflowers box set. You don't know. Uh, this is one of my favorite things that I own currently. Um, it's got a lot of, um, obviously, wildflowers outtakes and um, 
songs from the Wildflower session that didn't make the record. Wildflowers is one of my favorite records of all time. So um, this is super special. It also has home recordings. And usually I'm not a huge fan of box sets. I always feel like they're heavy and expensive. Um, and this one was heavy and expensive, but it is really special and awesome. Pick it up wherever you can. So those are just a few of the things that I love. Um, I also love shopping at Amoeba. Uh, thank you for having me and have a nice day. You are